Hey guys, we are doing this uh, math models worksheet um, with story problems and tables and graphs and equations and kind of mixing them all up, okay? So we're given one of these, the story problem, equations, a picture, a graph, or a table, and we're going to then find all the rest, okay? So in this first one, we're given a table. And the idea is we always want to figure out where we start and how it grows because that helps us unlock everything else. Now, if I look at this table, we may think that it's going to start right up here because that's the first number I see on the table. But it's not. We always look for the zero term. It's the zero term that helps us understand where it's starting. Okay? And I know that doesn't seem to make sense, but that's just the way mathematically how we work everything else. So we're starting at 12. And then it's growing. Well, we look at how it's changing. And we can see that we're adding two each time. So that's our growth. So it's definitely an arithmetic, which you don't have to write that down, but you may want to, arithmetic situation, okay? So it should be easy to create a recursive, a sub n equals a sub n minus 1, or you can be using f of n or f of x, and then we're adding 2, and then we need our starting point, a sub 0 or f of 0 or f, yeah, in either case, is 12. For explicit, we can go a sub n, or we can go y equals or f of x or any of those. Um, our starting, how it's growing, and then because it's arithmetic and it's repeated addition, we put the n down below. So graphing should be pretty easy because we can use our um, table, right? So maybe I want to count by twos. So that would be 20. So there's 10. So negative 1, oops. 10 is going to get in the way, isn't it? 10, we have negative 1. Then 12, 14, because I'm counting by twos, it's each one, isn't it? 16, 18, 20, and 22. And I can draw a line if I want to, um, but I don't have to necessarily. Okay, now I need to come up with a story problem here. So um, let's use Albertimus. And Albertimus has um, built, uh, let's say, 12 games already. Uh, they're super popular, so he will build two more, let's say, every day, because they are in high demand. All right, so then for my picture, Albertimus, he's got 12 games already he's built. All right, there's half of them. Those represent the games he's built. Then, so that's day zero. Then day one, he builds two more. Okay, then day two, he builds two more, and so on. Okay. And the pictures can be as simple as that. All right? So let's take a look at the next one now. Now we're given the recursive equation. So um, the recursive tells us how it's growing, timesing by 2. So this time it's geometric. Okay, and we start at 1. So some uh, story problem could be we find one zombie at school today then every period the number of zombies doubles okay so for a picture we've got a zombie just going after brains okay so there's only one then after the first period, now we've got two, because it doubled. Then after the next period, we've got four. And then the next period, we've got eight. Right? Okay. Now for our explicit equation, pretty easy. Right? We go a sub n equals our starting number. And times 2 because it's geometric, and we put the exponent because it's repeated multiplication. Now, for the table, we've got our x and our y, 
or our n and our a sub n, or you could even say, according to our story, um, periods and zombies. So we started out with 1, then after first period they doubled to 2, after second, not third period, 4, third, after third period, 8, then fourth period, 16, fifth period, 32, and sixth period, 64. Okay, then graphing, we don't necessarily have to graph all of these, um, but let's count by twos again, get up to 20 at least. So zero, we have one, so halfway, then first period, two, then four, oops, then four, then eight, 16, and then 32 would be way up there. So it'll look something like that. All right, all right, next problem. So now we're given the graph. So a great thing to do is probably jump to our table. Okay, so at negative one, we're up to eight. At zero, we're up to six, five. Okay, so that would be our start, right? Then, at 1, we're at 2. So we should be able to spot the pattern now, right? Where it looks like we're subtracting by 3. So at 2, we should be to negative 1, then negative 4, then negative 7, then negative 10. Which, if we look at it, is exactly what is happening. Okay, so... Um, we could say something like Philbert has eight dollars and spends three, let's see, actually five dollars, huh? Because our growth was minus three and our start was five and spends three dollars for lunch every day. So eventually, he's going to go in the hole, isn't he? And he's going to have to pay off his debts eventually. So, Philbert, he's got a $5 bill. Then, the next day, he spent, he spent 3 so he's only got 2 Then the next day, he owes 1 Then the next day, he owes 4 and so on. Okay, something like that. Then recursive, let's write this one different. Let's go f of x. So f of x equals f of x minus 1, and we are subtracting 3, and f of 0 equals 5. Same as the a sub n's. And our explicit equation will go f of x equals our start. We're subtracting 3, it's arithmetic, so times n. All right, next problem. I believe this is number four, even though it doesn't look like it got labeled. Okay, so this time we're given the explicit equation. Okay, I should be able to notice right here that it's arithmetic. So I've got y equals negative 10 plus 2x. So we start at negative 10, and we're adding 2 each time. Okay, so we could say Lucia borrowed ten dollars from Mikey and pays him two dollars every month we'll say to pay back so again we started at negative ten and we're adding two each time. So negative eight, negative six, negative four, negative two, zero, positive two if we keep going. So negative ten, we'd start down here, then negative eight, six, four, right? Two, zero, and then two again. Looks.
something like that, wouldn't it? Okay, so our picture, Lucia. Okay, and here's Mikey, giving her the $10. Okay, so she owes him $10. Then she only owes him $8. She's apparently paying back in $2 bills. Then six, then four, then two, okay, so on. Then recursive, we can do f of n this time, equals f of n minus one, that's a horrible looking f, and we are adding two, and then f of zero equals negative ten. All right, so just two more problems to look at. Okay, this time we're given a table again. So it starts at 0.25 or 1 fourth, we could think of that. Then it's growing by 0.25 to 4, 1 to 4 to 16. It's like we're times them by 4, so it's geometric. Okay, so should be able to quickly make my recursive a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 times 4, a sub 0 equals 0.25. Then explicit, y equals our start, 0.25, times in by 4, so I make an exponent. Okay, you can graph that. 0, 1 fourth would be clear down here. Then 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 16, look up there. Look like that. Okay, story problem. What could we do for this? All right, we could maybe say Jenny is growing her tail. She has one fourth and every day the growth quadruples okay so there's Jenny Jenny is a lizard there's one fourth of the tail then each day the tail is completed then apparently Jenny is growing more tails And so on. Okay. Sometimes those geometric ones can be a little tricky to figure out a good point for that. All right. Now, last one. Um, so this time we're given a graph. So let's assume this is one, two, and three, four, five, six. So we've got a negative one, a negative two, a neg uh, well not a negative two, a zero, and a one. So at 1, we're at 6, then 3, we're at 0. So I'm looking at it, it's curved, so most likely it's geometric, right? So how would I get from 3 to 6 by multiplication? Probably times them by 2, right? So that would be 12, 24, 48, um, 96. Going backwards, it would be 3 divided by 2, which is 1.5, which that looks right, right? Between 1 and 2. All right, so so what could we do? So we start at 3, because that's our 0 term, and then we're times them by 2. So f of x equals f of x minus 1 times 2. f of 0 equals 3. y equals 3 times 2 to the x. Okay, we already got the graph. So then the story problem, we're starting something that starts at 3 and doubles. So Hunter eats three Pop-Tarts, we'll say yesterday, so not eats, eight. His new goal is to eat double 
what he did the previous day. The previous day. Okay, so we've got Hunter here. He's eaten three Pop Tarts. So, three Pop Tarts inside his belly. Okay, then the next day, he doubles that amount. So, this time, six Pop Tarts in his belly. Then 12. And so on, right? Okay. All right. There we go, guys. There's the uh, information on that one and going from one format to all the others.